Hi, welcome back to Pink Aura Tarot. My name is Z. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. So today I'm filming outside. It's a little different setup right now. So filming outside today and it's really hot, but um, I still needed to like record the readings because I know you guys have been waiting for your reading for July 2020. So this one is going to be for Scorpio for July 2020. Um, keep in mind that this is very general. So... It's not going to resonate with everyone watching. Um, a few more things too. Um, you can follow me on Instagram if you want to at Pink or Tarot. Um, currently, I'm having an email reading special for personal readings, which is twenty dollars for six questions that you may need clarity or insight on. And I'll leave a direct link to the booking info um, in the comments. I'll pin it as a comment, so that's a direct link to book a reading with me. Also, too, I would like for you guys to start um, engaging more on the reading, like, yeah, on the videos. So, I noticed that some people don't like the video or they'll leave a negative comment, which is fine. Or, like, they'll thumbs it down, but it's just, like, too many views for people not to give the video a thumbs up. So, if you guys could, please just give the video a thumbs up because it lets other people see my readings, too. So, that would be very helpful for me. So yeah, let's get into the reading. So this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me one card for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July 2020. Give me one card for Scorpio for July 2020. Okay, wow, so we got a new beginning here. So this is really good, Scorpio. So for, so for some of you guys, you could be... Um, having a new beginning in your career like a, your love life or um you could be like moving somewhere new but this is a new beginning right here and it says thank you angels for opening up the doors to change i am ready so for a lot of you guys you're going through a lot of change here and it's like you're doing it in peace like you're being like very peaceful about it because we got peaceful warrior here at the bottom of the deck Clarify new beginning. Wow, so we got expansion. I hope this noise is not so bad. <laughs> but um, we got expansion. So it says spread your wings and soar, share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. So this is really good. So for some of you guys, you could be expanding here. It's like you guys are ready for it, like this new beginning here like doors are opening up for you Scorpio and we got miracles at the bottom of the deck right here clarify new beginning wow so we got let go so for some of y'all I feel like for some of y'all you could be just like letting go of fear or this is like telling you to let go of fear. Like you are ready for this change. Like you're about to expand in some way. For some of y'all, you could feel like you're not ready, but you are. So let's see, let's pull some cards. So this is my first time filming outside and I hope it works out. Cause this area is like really nice to film outside but it's just like this noise that's going on right here in the background clarify new beginning for scorpio clarify new beginning for scorpio wow so we got the six of wands that came out so this is you scorpio you guys are coming out victorious here like you're standing out whether this be like in your career or um just like a new beginning of some sort it's like you are definitely ready so i do feel like this is telling you guys to let go of fear or any like um any like past issues because we got judgment right here so for some of you guys it's like you could be um not wanting to go back to some things um, that you are currently dealing with like in the past it's like you're ready for change like you can't go back to um, past people 
past situations or even um like past habits like if you had bad habits in the past clarify new beginning oh oh my god oh it's a bird <laughs> Ooh, I jumped up real fast. It was like a little bird that just came walking by. Clarify new beginning. Clarify new beginning. Okay, so we got the page of cups right here. So for some of y'all, you could be getting some good news right here. I feel like if this is, um, for some of y'all, you could be about to get approached by a water sign. I'm getting Pisces because we got the hangman right here it could be a pisces i feel like um for some of y'all you could have a new beginning in love uh, for july 2020 but for some of y'all it's like you're needing to let go kind of like go with the flow because we got expansion right here this could have been something that you guys were waiting for too clarify new beginning Wow, we got the three of cups that came out. For some of you guys, you could be reconciling with somebody. Um, for some people, you could definitely be reconciling for, uh, with somebody. Because with this page of cups, it seems like somebody is like popping back up. I feel like it's a Pisces for somebody. But um, we got the three of cups right here. If you're reconciling with somebody here, I feel like um, it's like you're, you're going to get your ten of cups with this person. If not, like if you're not dating anybody, um, if you're not dating anybody, you could be reconciling with a past person or this could be a new person for somebody. But I see like a lot of celebration here for somebody. And look, do we have the King of Cups? Somebody, it's a Pisces for somebody or a water sign. Clarify new beginning. Okay, so this Five of Swords, I wasn't gonna take it out because the way it had flipped over. But, um, we got this five of swords here for some of you guys i feel like um there's some mental conflict going on with some things in the past whether it be a person or it's just like yourself like your thoughts about um like you could be having negative thoughts here about moving on with this six of swords Clarify new beginning. So while judgment came out. So yeah, for some of you guys, I feel like you're going to have to make a really big decision here about moving on from some things that happened in the past. It could be a person, but for some of you guys, you're, you're about to get a message with this page of wands. I feel like this is some, some really good news for somebody. And it could, like, the news could come, like, from a person that's going to, um, like, this is going to be a new beginning for somebody here. Clarify new beginning. And it's going to allow you to expand. Because for some of y'all, you could have been, like, stuck or kind of, like, procrastinating. But it's almost like somebody needs to, like, let go and just kind of, like, walk through this door of change because you are ready. Clarify new beginning. Wow, we got the chariot. Somebody's moving to like a new location right here with the chariot. But um, we got the hair font right here. For some of y'all, you could be about to get into um, a new commitment here with somebody. Um, this could be somebody from the past or a new person. But for some people, it's going to be somebody new. But I do see like reconciliation with somebody. It could be a cancer or um, another water sign here. But for some of you guys, you need to let go of fear and have faith too with the hair font being at the bottom of the deck. What's the six of wands? What's the six of wands? Wow, the ten of cups came out. For some of you guys, you could... Um, For some of y'all, you could be dealing with like another Scorpio, but we got the Ten of Cups that came out with the Six of Wands. So July is going to be like very um, high vibrational 
well you guys are going to be like in a um a very good space like energetically for july 2020 what's the page of cups What's the page of cups? Okay, we got the five of cups that came out. For some of you guys, I feel like you could have been in this space right here with this five of um this five of cups. Like you could have been sad or even like depressed. But I feel like whatever this is, it's gonna be um it's like somebody needs to raise their vibration but with this page of cups and the five of cups i'm seeing it too where for some of y'all you could be hearing from somebody here that you were dealing with in the past i feel like they could have been like worried here that you were going to like move on if this is about like a love interest so hopefully this resonates with somebody here but i'm seeing that somebody um is wanting to like communicate with somebody here and they're worried here about either um, receiving an offer or taking an offer too. What's the Three of Cups? For some of you guys too, I meant to mention um, with this be assertive. For some of you guys, you're gonna need to set up some boundaries here too because it seems like for some of you guys, cause you're, you're coming out as a Six of Wands, um, clarifying this new beginning like you guys are going to be um standing out like getting a lot of attention but it's like everybody can um come with you in this new beginning so it's like you're going to have to leave some things behind like leave people um in the past behind for some of y'all you're going to have to be letting go of people like physical bodies <laughs> what's the three of cups Yeah, we got the um, the Eight of Wands. Somebody's about to get some communication or like some news here with this Eight of Wands. It's like you're moving um, or like you're shifting into like this new beginning here. And we got the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. For some of y'all, you're going to be like rejecting offers. What's the Five of Swords? But all of these offers are not good for you. Cause like from for some of you guys, it's like people from the past and you need to like just let them go. What's the five of swords? Okay, yeah, we got the page of pentacles. Somebody's about to get an offer here with this page of pentacles but i do feel like um there's some self-deception here too about getting an offer or taking an offer some of you guys could be dealing with the water sign here but use your intuition because the queen of cups is an intuitive woman use your intuition for uh, for some of you guys like if you're a male scorpio you could be um getting in tune with your like your feminine energy Or it's like you're needing to because the moon card was below the um the queen of cups so it's like really get in tune with your intuition because that's going to allow you to really make some um some really good decisions what's judgment Yeah, we got the two the two of pentacles. For some of you guys, you could be um, kind of just going back and forth here on some offers, but use your intuition. Cause it's like, you're gonna have to make one big decision in order for you to actually, um, to like walk through this door of change. Like somebody actually like needs to change, but it's like, you're going back and forth here. Um, for some of you guys, you could be going back and forth here on where you want to move or like relocate to. But we got the Wheel of Fortune card here too. So it is time here for a change, Scorpio. But there's like some things you're needing to let go of in order for you to actually like move forward with confidence because fear could be keeping you back um, from moving forward. 
What's the chariot? Wow, we got the six of pentacles here. We got the six of pentacles. For some of you guys, you could be, um, I feel like somebody's being supported here on moving on for whatever this is, or it's like somebody's gonna come in to actually um, give you support with the six of pentacles. We got the four of swords right here at the bottom of the deck. For some of you guys, you could be taking a break here from, um, from relationships or people too. It's like it's time for you to take care of yourself too, Scorpio. That's, I feel like that's why be assertive too is at the bottom of the deck right here because for some of you guys, you need to um, start taking care of yourself and be assertive, like start telling people no. But remain positive too while doing it. Yeah, we got peace. Um, this peaceful warrior card was at the bottom of the deck. For some of you guys, it's like with this peaceful warrior, it says, thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. For some of you guys, you're gonna need to stand your ground with people, like physical people. So let's see. Oh, let me see what um, what this let go card is about and I'm gonna close out the reading. Clarify let go for Scorpio. I feel like it's just fear. Clarify let go. Cause some of you guys think that you're not ready um, for change. Yeah, we got the 10 of wands here. For some of you guys, I feel like for some of you guys, you could be stressed out here. And it could have been because maybe you were like waiting for change. But also too, I feel like for some of you guys, you could be like procrastinating on making a decision too. For some of you guys, you need to let go of people who like stress you out. Clarify, let go. And I feel like too with the Ten of Wands, it's like burdens too from the past. Like let that go. Clarify, let go. So we got the Page of Swords. Some of you guys have some people watching you. And I feel like this is people from the past. But we got the Knight of the Knight of Pentacles right here. This bird keeps scaring me. It just went past again. But um, let's see. What's the Page of Swords? What's the Page of Swords? Oh, okay, we got the Queen of Swords that came out see for some of you guys you're going to need to um to have your sword up like be assertive but kind of like do it um in peace and kind of like remain positive like you don't have to get ugly with people just set up some boundaries here with people because it's like somebody has someone um looking over them or like watching them here because they see you about to change or like do something like really big like somebody could be um, watching somebody about to expand and it's like they want to be a part of it but for some of y'all you're going to need to let them go for some of y'all you could be dealing with the air sign um with this queen of swords and the page of swords it could be like a younger air sign or something but i feel like this is like a love interest too <laughs> for somebody Clarify this page of swords. Yeah, we got the nine of cups that came out. I do feel like people see you um, happy or like vibrating really high. You could be getting a lot of attention too. But for some of you guys, it's like you're, need, you're gonna have to need, um, you're gonna have to be discerning too. Use your intuition. Cause I feel like it could be like multiple people. Like somebody has a lot of options here. And it's like, you're gonna have to really like get in tune with your intuition because not everybody can like come with you um, in this new beginning or like they can't expand with you. Like everybody can't do what you're about to do or it's like you can't bring other people with you. 
so hopefully that resonates but i'm gonna end the reading right here hopefully um you guys like the reading the outside hopefully the the noise wasn't too loud but yeah feel free to like comment and subscribe to the channel thank you